Assalamu alaikum How are you This is the last sample paper we are going to discuss in this video Benjamin Level Halfway question number 1 halfway between a fish and an attacker there is a small hiding place the fish is swimming with a speed v along the river's current the speed v is half of the speed of the attacker what should be the minimum river current speed which will allow the fish to escape i have solved for you that you can see there is water flow fish and there is between place between attacker and fish this is this is the space so fish speed and attacker so v just change the shape of this v so you can see this v and v dash t is equal to 2v and v dash t so v plus v dash is equal to 2v to minus v dash v dash v dash actually this is the speed of river so 2v dash 2v minus v v this is the speed and when you divide by 2 so you can get the speed of river current v not or v dash whatever so v dash is equal to v upon 2 so what will be the answer v 2v v upon 2 any value never v upon 2 c is correct now question number 2 a thermometer with liquid incorrectly calibrated on which uh, calibrated means uh, on which degrees are or scale is written is inserted in a mixture of water and ice and it indicates minus 5 degree centigrade when inserted in the vapor of boiling water it shows 120 degree centigrade what value indicate the thermometer when it is placed in contact with the body having a temperature of 40 degree centigrade so this is the formula of thermometer theta is equal to x theta minus x not into 100 divide by x 100 minus x not x theta minus 5 you can see this is minus 5 Minus five one twenty. This is x hundred. The temperature of that boiling water, boiling water denoted by x hundred. So hundred minus five. When you put the values, so you can get in this way one twenty plus five x theta plus five divide multiply by hundred. So x theta plus five. This is the formula you have to. Uh, put all these values in this formula so you can get this value 40 multiply 125 divide by 100 so when you multiply and divide all this so you can get 50 x theta plus 5 50 minus 5 is equal to x theta so this is the value the what value indicates the thermometer when it is placed in contact with the body having a temperature of 40 degree centigrade so that the actual temperature 45 degree okay now question number 3 in a river there are 12 cows 3 pigs 20 frogs and 7 newts how many atria with oxygenated blood do they have together actually these calves and pigs they are fish and fish breathe through their gills they don't have any atria but frogs and newts have atria and uh, oxygenated atria means only one atria has oxygenated blood actually they have two atria on the upper side of the heart but they are asking with oxygenated blood so it means when you uh, add 7 plus 20 it is 27 so 27 how many atria with oxygenated blood do they have 27 so Although they have two atria, twenty multiplied four to forty seven multiplied by two seven two so fourteen, but they are asking oxygenated blood, so only one left atria has oxygenated blood. So that's why twenty plus seven answer is twenty seven. All are wrong. Look at question number four. The stem has terminal and lateral buds. If a terminal bud is sectioned, the plant. 
you can see in this diagram apical or terminal bud this is the apical or terminal bud and these are axillary or lateral buds and these branches are from this part so does not grow taller but branches out does not grow taller you can say you can cut this bud so they stop growing in uh, right height or they don't grow in this way but branches can be arise uh, 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 branches can be there so uh, does not grow taller and does not branch out grows taller but does not branch out no branch uh, where it is written not branch out not branch out it is incorrect grows taller obviously it is incorrect fades because it can't breathe no it is breathing does not grow taller but branches out so you can see these branches are coming out from this bud so if you cut this bud terminal bud so they don't grow question number 4 answer a is correct now question number 5 you went riding your bike the first hour your average speed was 10 km per hour for the next 2 hours 7 km per hour then you took 3 hours to return to your departure location what was your average speed when you returned so you have to divide the whole distance into in this way first hour 10 km second hour 7 km second next sec hour 7 km so total distance 7 plus 7 plus 10 24 km kilometer is a unit of distance so they, they, that's why i'm asking this is distance 24 km total to uh, time to reach a to b 3 hours you can see this a to b 3 hours and time to go back 3 hours so total time is 6 hours total distance is 24 plus 24 because when they go uh, a to b then uh, it has uh, he has to return b to a so 24 plus 24 is equal to 48 km total distance is 48 km total time is 6 hours so when you divide this time uh, this distance by the time so you can get average speed s v is equal to s upon t 48 divided by 6 it will be 8 km per hour so answer b is correct now question number 6 it's very easy what group do bats belong to birds insects mammals reptiles rodents obviously mammal rodents are also mammals but they are of different types they are flying mammals bats group to mammals now question number 7 where does sound travel fastest sound travel fastest in solids wood space glass water air glass c when talking along an asphalt street after sundown a person often feels heat coming off the pavement the heat is coming moving from the asphalt to the person by conduction convection expansion radiation contraction so contraction is doesn't link with the uh, transmission of heat there are three ways by heat can be transmitted conduction convection and radiation expansion is an, another phenomena by which you can heat the substance and it can expand so this is called expansion but uh, we this is not related this is not related with uh transmitting of heat so conduction this conduction between solid to solid when they are in contact convection is a you can read this para conduction this is a flow of heat by direct contact heat travels from a warmer object towards a colder object convection this is a transfer of heat by mixing of fluid convection occurs within fluids and gases examples include boiling water and when warm water mixes with cold water but uh, in this case you can see there is not not directly contact so they are moving by uh, via via medium that is air so this is convection okay now question number 9 what is the main reason of for using sand on icy roads you know what is friction to create friction between car wheels and road 
uh, to reduce the glare of headlight or sunlight to help melt the ice covering the road to dry the road to make road more visible to create friction between car wheels and road because it uh, if there is ice so ice uh, you know ice is very slippery so this would be very dangerous so we use sand on these icy road to create friction answer a is correct now question number 10 this is the last question of this sample paper that is very easy d is equal to m over v density is equal to mass per volume density is mass per per unit volume when you divide this mass by volume you can get density so every time you have to uh, first read the question the table lists the volume and the mass of the five substances which substances has the lowest density so you can see brick ice water wax honey volume brick volume is 71 and mass is 100 so you should divide this 100 by 71 uh, so you can get the answer is 1.40 or 41 in second second case you can uh, divide 100 by 109 so you can get 0.92 in third case 100 divided by 100 it is 1 that is the density of water uh, next case wax 56 and 100 100 divided by 56 1.79 and honey 100 divided by 70 1.43 so they are asking which substance has the lowest density so you can see Point nine two is lowest. So ice has lowest density. B uh, brick uh, A B ice C water D wax E honey. So B is correct. This was all about the sample paper. Please read the information and uh, start or try to calculate the things using formulas. So. you can get better idea about these question thank you very much have a nice day allah hafiz